Good morning. Happy Friday. It is August 2nd. Can you guys believe it's already August? Like, where did the year go? It's my birthday month, and I'm just like, what? How did we get here already? Like, how? Um, whatever. I am dressed because I'm about to go do some cardio. Mm, I think I'm going to do maybe 45 minutes. Nothing too crazy. I have not been to the gym all week. Um, I was having, I think, a mental health crisis, and I just took a break from a lot. I took a break from my main Instagram page because posting was just becoming too much. It was no longer fun. It felt like an obligation. Um, I stopped checking in with my coach. Again, it felt like an obligation. It didn't feel like something that I hired her to do. It felt like I was, it was demanded of me. Wayne myself became like mentally just challenging. I just took a break because my mental health was suffering. And I feel great, you know. I am posting on my personal page and on my lifestyle page, but it's literally things that feel like therapy to me. You know, makeup, getting dressed up, sharing Bible verses, sharing the books that I'm reading. It does not feel like an obligation. It feels like a hobby and that's what I needed. Um, I also deleted Twitter off my phone because again, on Twitter, I follow a lot of people who are in the same field as me career wise and seeing them accomplish all these things made me compare myself to them and that comparison was stealing a lot of joy from me so i also took myself off of twitter um and i just the break has been good it's only been a couple of days but so far i feel good i don't wake up like oh my god what can i do today to play catch up with the next person i literally just wake up and do whatever you know work read like right now I'm about to go walk and I'm going to take my book with me because I just want to relax. I don't want to think about what the next accomplishment is because I'm tired. I feel like I've been on auto drive since the year began and I started the year off rocky. I started the year off in the ER. Okay, so I'm just like, Phoebes, relax. So yeah, I'm taking a break from a lot. Um, no gym this week, but I'll be back next week maybe. I don't know. My face has definitely gotten chubbier. The scale has gone up. Not from this week, but just in general. And I really don't care. I don't. I just needed a break. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do my cardio now. I'll be back. Okay, so I am back. I did a 45 minute walk. No, I did a 40 minute walk with a five minute cool down. A little over two miles. Um, I am about to hop in the shower. So I can make a little bit of breakfast before I go meet up with Ross and baby boy so that we can wash our cars. It's probably going to be like washing our cars and hanging out, but still we need to wash our cars, especially me because mine is the outside of my car. I love pearl, but white. Dirt shows up so much on white. So yeah, um, that is the goal for today to get the cars clean. We might probably grab some lunch afterwards from like a little restaurant nearby and that would be it for Friday. That is the goal for today. The goal for Friday is to wash the cars. Like that is today's task. I'm probably gonna put a load of laundry in the washer while I'm out, but the most essential thing for me is to wash my car. It's gonna rain tomorrow, I really don't care. I just need to wash my car because I feel like if I wash my car, it's gonna get me to vacuum the inside and the inside needs vacuuming and I need to wash, um, my floor mats yes so i'm gonna go get cleaned up and then come right back i have a horrible headache and i know it's because i haven't had any coffee or breakfast so that's also going to be the next thing i do after i hop out the shower all done showered i did a light face y'all all i did was use my danessa myrick's yummy skin lift and flex concealer i have on some blush clear gloss mascara and then i added some fluff to the brows because I do not leave my house with bare brows. That is a no. If it, even if I don't wear a full face, I will have my brows done no matter what. Um, Roz is on FaceTime. She's doing her makeup and eating pizza simultaneously. It's not real pizza. Mommy. Nathan Mommy. Is, is cooking pizza for Roz. Mommy. This is what 
I am wearing. We're literally going to just wash our cars, but it's gonna be hot as giraffe balls today. So I decided to just wear this. I think Roz is also wearing biker shorts. Nathan has on shorts. Um, so yeah. This shirt is from Target. Shorts are Amazon, linked in my storefront. I have on my Vomeros. I put on like, jewelry wise, I have on these earrings I got from TJ Maxx, love them. This chain is from Amazon. And then my rings are also from Amazon, but I have on just two. Y'all like my nails. These were supposed to be potentially my birthday nails, but I don't like them. So I'm going to get them done again before my birthday. Okay, so I am at the car wash. I got my money. Um, I'm just waiting for Roz and baby boy to get here. She went to get some cleaning supplies to help clean the inside of her car. I wish I had told her I had some. I don't really have a lot, so I guess it's good that she went and got her own. But I'm waiting in the car because I went to go get my little card because you put the money in and it gives you like a car wash card. And child, it was wasp outside. There, there were some wasp outside. I don't do bugs. I went to my parents' house last week and I got bit by so many mosquitoes. I'm over it. I'm over it. So I'm going to wait for her in the car. Probably going to turn on the air conditioner because it's a little toasty. Um... But yeah, I'm just going to wait in my car because I can't, I cannot be bothered. I don't like bugs and there are a lot of bugs, but I like this car wash. Like it's fancy. Like you can vacuum clean your car and then wash your mats at the same area. My car wash doesn't do that. Like you have to vacuum, wash your car, pull your mats out and then wash your mats. But this, I'm going to show y'all, this one is a lot fancier. Like I like this one. I just don't like the fact that I can't use my little, um, coins because at the car wash by my house you use these little coins it's there it's nothing valuable like you can't take this and pay in a store but i use these coins but here they don't they use cards so i'm gonna have to use more money but it's okay i can use this when i go back to my area enough running my mouth i just wanted to fill you guys in that i'm here this is not for the week y'all it is hot at six giraffe balls out here Nathan was helping me back and clean my car. I don't think it was smart for us to wear makeup today, though. Because we all here fighting for our lives. Here, Rose. Nathan, did you help Auntie wash her car? Yeah. Yeah. And he put the money in. So Nate decided to come into my car to see the car wash. And then I'm showing him how it washes the bottom on the display screen. You see, the, the these are the sponges. It's going to come and wash the car. Cool, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see him? I told him I'm going to get him lunch if it helps me clean my car. It's a decent wash. Nothing crazy. I swear, every time I wash my car, I sign a new dent. Alright, y'all. Pearl's clean. We're about to go to Walmart because I got to use the restroom. But my good girl, girl is clean. Inside too. Ex ignore the paper. We stopped at Walmart to get something to drink because it's hot as giraffe ball. Say hi, Nate. Wave. No, wave. wave, Nate. Wave. Wave, Nate. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're headed to on um, Target. I actually have a few things that I need to return to Target as well. So this trip is for both of us. I bought some makeup a while ago and it was not my color. And it's been sitting in my car, so I need to also return that to Target. So this is gonna be good because then I'm not gonna be spending my money because it's technically free because I'm returning stuff, you know? Return, buy, free, girl math. Figure it out, don't ask me, no questions. Um, and then we're gonna get lunch. Nathan wants chicken nuggets, so we're gonna go to Chick-fil-A and have lunch. I promised him Chick-fil-A if he helped me clean my car, and he helped. So we're gonna go get some lunch. I want chicken tenders. I saw Tammy Rivera wearing these and they look so good on her Instagram. I took too Yes. I took too long to go buy it. Those are cute. And they look like they're light so you won't be too hot. This is what Roz might be wearing tomorrow to the birthday party. Oh, and it came with like this. I don't remember the first Yeah. I would wear it with a different top. Like with a white top. 
Ross, you got a scarf on. <laughs> that's why your ass is hot. That's why your ass is hot. That's a cute skirt. Right there, that's striped one. For the winter time. It's too hot for that right now. Y'all, look at this bubble skirt. And it got pockets. But it's too goddamn big. They just, just, I gotta find a smaller size. I just need like a large. Ross, hold that up. Let's see. So Ross and I are manifesting our men that we're gonna wear these for. She's gonna have to get a different color though, cause what? Nathaniel, we're done. We're done. We're done. This is the third time this, no, we're done. No, 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 okay. this is the third time. You know how dirty this is? It's dirty. It's dirty, Nate. I gotta sanitize it. That's sexy. Yes. Yes, I just don't know where my back is gonna sit. My back fat is just gonna be out. These are fire. These would be so cute tomorrow. <sighs> Can I find my size? Can I find the shoes? Uh, these aren't bad. This Target is so disorganized, Nate. So disorganized. Look at the Dior dupes. These are not bad, but the thing is, when you have flat feet, these feel like walking on concrete. These are also cute. Yeah, he was yawning. He's yawning. The fake, fake Birkenstocks? Yes. Honestly, these are not bad, Ross. It's given to payday. Yeah, but they're not bad. I like the different colors. The poor babies. Is it comfortable? Comfortable. Yeah. These are also really, really cute. Like I would get these for work because I like the color. I've been into red lately, and I don't know why. Is it cute? Should I get it? No. Okay. You. Thank you. You said no. Save your auntie some money. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? Please don't fall. Please. Let's go check out. Oh, bro! Look at the dance water. Ah. Nate picked up a book. Let's see your book. Let's see your book. We're also looking at books. Nate is getting Digasaurus. Roz and I are also looking for a book. There's a book here that I saw someone share on Instagram. It's called Learning How to Forgive When You Can't Forget. And I really want to get it. And then this one also looks really interesting. The Book of Boundaries. Set the limits that will set you free. I don't know how to do boundaries. And I feel like that would be helpful. Good boundaries and goodbye. Hello. Okay. Apparently, Tia Williams is that girl when it comes to writing novels. So, that's going to be my next read. I have four books that I need to finish reading for. Yes, the truth bottle. Eh. No? My favorite is Sweet on the Outside and The New Rouge. Don't spray it. You can smell it. She could do this all day. You said which one? The that blue one. That blue one right there. Yeah. I don't. Oh, girl, it, we. It definitely smells like you. Hello. Yes. What's up? Don't this smell like the? It smells like um Bed Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Okay, so we're not going to lunch anymore because Nathan is so tired. So Roz is going to take him home so that he can um get some sleep and she doesn't have to like lug him around and then she also bought milk and the milk cannot sit in the car for too long it's it's gonna get rotten or it's gonna get spoiled so i'm gonna stop at chick-fil-a and get some food i think i'm just gonna get some nuggets and go home and eat that and then i also have some salad mix so i'll probably make a salad when i get in the house as well but that's it for me i know i have like a long drive home anyway so this works out perfectly let me check what my distance is gonna be 38 minutes that is not bad that's what tolls though it's not free child it was a police officer waiting on the other side of the road like the chick-fil-a line is long so there's a police officer on the other side of the road and i'm over here he thought he was gonna go in front of me police or not i was already in line <laughs> you could wait <laughs> yeah okay we do not care um so yeah i got me some nuggets and a coke zero and I got some fries. I got a meal because what? <laughs> what? 
Why would you come to a Chick-fil-A and not get the waffle fries? It's too good, too, too good. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday the 3rd. August is flying by. Um, anyway, I've been awake since like 7 o'clock. Usually on Saturdays, I go for my long walks. But because I have been in this whole funk, I haven't been doing like any of the things that I was normally doing. And this Saturday is no different. So I, I didn't go for my walk. I am up just watering a few of my plants. Um, because they're overdue but I'm gonna get dressed and head out because I need to go to the store and find a gift for baby girl today is her first birthday auntie has to come with a gift auntie cannot come in empty-handed um, she's not gonna know but I gotta find her a gift I'm thinking maybe some new outfits like Nike fits maybe a sneakers because you know everybody know what is this hold on one second y'all what what is this I touched my camera settings yesterday because I was trying to be different. Um, some people on TikTok was throwing out some recommendations and I listened. That's what comes, but that's what happens when you listen. Anyway, back to what it is that I was saying about Auntie. Auntie has to go to the store and get some gifts for baby girl because, hello, it's her birthday. Um, I don't know what it is that I'm going to get her. I think I'm going to get her some new outfits. She is the tiniest baby in our family. She is one year old, but she looks she looks like she could be like seven months, but she is a powerful little lady, okay? She is walking, she is screaming. Her mom was a, like a professional singer in our country, so she has the vocal cords of her mama, okay? She is tiny but strong at the same time, so yeah. I'm going to get her some cute fits. I think I'm going to get her some summer, like summer, fall-ish outfits, and then maybe some stuff for winter because the season is coming to an end. I don't know, but I need to go to the store and find something. I don't know what kind of toys she would be into because I ain't got no kids. Oh my God, I'm so mad I messed with my phone yesterday because this looks horrible. I ain't got no kids, so I don't know what you get kids. So yeah, we're, we're going to be out there free balling. I'm going to figure it out though. I might get her a book, but who going to read to her? Because her mom and dad be busy. Her mama going to read to her. I don't know, let's go see. Carlos is going to help me get some sneakers that are dropping today. I have not gotten sneakers through the sneakers app all year. Even the Vomeros, even the Vomeros that I have, I got them from a different site or from GOAT because I just, the sneakers app don't like me no more. It better get his stuff together because I need these shoes today. I need them in my collection. Perfect winter shoes. And the drops this year were horrible. Like last year I got was the um, 
Where the what? The eggplant, the eggplant phones. See? Mm, that and that was like early this year. Like the shoes they dropped this year have been so bad. I'm so bad. They've been dropping a lot of dunks. I can't get a pair of Deion Sanders to save my life. Yeah, th that was that was that was wrong. That was. What you just woke up? Did I wake you up? Something. Okay, so tell me about this Nat thing. She's back on it. That means she's single. Yeah, I've been doing some homework. <laughs> oh, nigga, you a stalker. <laughs> I should have did my prayer. I should have prayed about her. Damn. Gosh. Nah, because sometimes you be asking God for stuff and God be like, no. You be like, God, if this person is not for me, take them out of my life. Then they disappear. You're just like, oh my God. Oh my God, that is not what I wanted, Lord, but you said take them out your life. Not like that. So yeah, he probably watching like, girl, I'm taking them out regardless. You think you control? No, I don't. I know I don't know. I know I don't. I know I don't. So I'm going to stay in the house for a bit before I go out so I can try and get these sneakers. But while I'm in the house, I'm going to have some of this racial yogurt. This is not breakfast. This is a snack. Let me show y'all the sneakers. I, I sure did, and I clicked on it. <laughs> there is no way to really win when it comes to the sneakers app. Not unless you have what we call bots. If you got bots, then you can win. But as an adult, hope, hope and prayer. These are the sneakers. Focus. These are the sneakers. To the average Joe, they're not much. To me, they're one of my favorites. My favorite sneakers for the Jordan collection are the sixes. I love sixes. They're my absolute favorite. I have, I think I have four pairs of sixes and I'm not done because I want these. What else? Are these the ones with the red? Yes, okay, you just have to make sure they have the little red thing in my jig. <laughs> And then next year, oh, it's going to be horrible. The fight is on. The sneak is coming out next year, baby. Look at the details, y'all. Look at the details. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -mm -mm. They first came out in 91. I was a year old and I didn't live in America. It's 24. I live in America now. I'm about to get it. Okay, I don't know what I did to my camera yesterday, but it looks so much clearer. I like this. Perfect color. It's a little too light, but it's good. I really like this. No, it's not. Blueberry cream cheese. I am obsessed with blueberry. So when I saw that they had blueberry cream cheese, <laughs> Have to have it. Have to have it. These low carb bagels are the best thing ever created. And we're in line for the shoes. We're waiting. I was waiting for you at the door. Come here. We got them, y'all. We got them. Got them. We did it. We did it, Joe. 
I'm a happy camper. Now I can go spend the rest of my money on this little girl for her birthday. Because I'm gonna try on a few things. I didn't come in to buy anything for myself, but I was tempted. This fits everywhere else but my arms. Reasons why I need to lose some size in my upper body. Having that much muscle is cute until you wanna buy shirts. This is actually not bad. I don't like them together, but I do like this top. This is actually not bad. So I'm thinking about making it crop so that, I don't know, but I'm gonna get both of these because I really like it. The skirt is cute and light and flowy. The top is cute, cropped or not, it's super cute. I can't even wear it with like jeans or linen pants. <sighs> this is a set where they attach the shirt, the skirt to the shirt so you can't try it on separately. But look at this big ass long, long jump bag. $429. If I knew what I would use it for, I would get it because I think this is normally like almost $300 or over $250. But what the hell am I gonna do with this big ass bag? Okay, so because the baby is in between sizes, I'm gonna go get her a gift card. I'm gonna go put all this back and just get her a gift card because I would be so mad if I get her all this and she can't fit it. And then when she finally does grow, she ends up being too big for it. So the best solution is to just get her a gift card and tell her mama to buy her outfit. I'm back. All right. So let me show y'all what I finally got for the baby. I got for two babies because my cousins, they had their babies around the same time. One in the summer and the other in fall. We are not gonna see the fall baby on her birthday, so I decided to get her stuff now and just give it to her mama. I ain't got no gift bags because Ross got the gift bags. So we're good on that part. I also got some mail. And y'all know it's from Amazon. Ooh, I got the um, cream foundation for my wig. Can y'all see that? It's by Ruby Kisses. This is just for my wig, not for my face. 
a gift for you. This was not a gift. Who did that? Um, anyway. And I don't know what this is. I think it's eyelashes. Yeah, okay. So I got lashes and these are just the half lashes. So they literally just go to towards the end. I am hoping to have a lot of luck with this today because I hate putting on lashes. I'm trying to get like Ross because she likes putting it on. I could care less. But it does pull the look together. I will say that. But I don't have the patience for lashes. Okay? We gonna try. The way I've been spending money, you would think my father's name was Jeff Bezos. It's not. Hmm? I got my favorite plantain chips. Yes, yes, yes. I cannot go into TJ Maxx or Marshalls without getting plantain chips or diet soda. I want some ice cream. Okay, and then y'all saw that I picked up the avocado oil. $5.99. Picked up full. Full of them jumps. Okay. I got olive oil and I got avocado oil. All right. Ring a ding ding the baby's outfits. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Honestly, shopping for babies is not easy, but it's so cute. It's so, so cute. Nathan is no longer a baby, but shopping for Nathan is also cute because he's tiny. He's not really tiny because Nathan is a man now. A young man. A young, young man. <clears throat> huh? Rosalyn don't like hearing that Nathan is a young man. I don't know why. Okay, okay. I got, what? I got this mauve tracksuit. Oh, Ross, you wanna see what I got? Let me put you on camera. Hold on, y'all, let me put Ross on my tripod. Okay, I got Ross on the tripod. I got them this mauve tracksuit. Mm. Right, isn't this cute? Nike. And then I got another one, but this one is like a suede velvet material. So it'll be good for them when winter time or fall comes. And Ross told me to get, um, Afanui is her name. She told me to get her uh, 18 months because she's currently 12 months and she's between sizes. So she's gonna grow into that. Then I got her this matching set. Y'all can't believe it. And it's cute. It's so, so cute, so cute. I also get, right and then my cousin her his son his daughter's name is Serena yes she was named after Serena Williams um I also got her the same matching suit and I got her 18 months she'll be able to wear hers um soon because she's bigger than the other baby even though the other baby was born first and then I got her this everybody needs a denim jacket okay everybody needs a denim jacket so I got her a little That's denim cute. yes a little denim jacket Okay, this is Serena. No, this is, this is, no. Yeah, this is Serena's. I told you I got them. I literally got them the same outfits. That's all I got the babies. This is what I got for myself. Y'all saw me try this on, but this top was just too cute to not get. Like this ruffle top. If I had white linen pants, Ross, this would be such a cute oh, outfit. Yeah, that would go. Ugh, but I don't. And then I got some alligator clips because I got to do my wig today. So I got alligator clips you know you are the first daughter when you go to the store and you think about things your, your parents need in the house so my dad is a warrior when something breaks oh phoebe we're in trouble that's literally what he said we're in trouble i said what's wrong the soap holder broke so i said you know what I will get I will get a new one. So I picked up a soap holder for my parents because my dad it thinks we are in distress. So I'm gonna give this to my mom tonight when I see her. And I'm gonna tell her to um actually no, this is broken. I gotta go return it. It's missing one of the suction cups. This was fifteen dollars. And the only reason I got it is because it's by simple human though. That's why it's fifteen dollars. Because my soap holder was five nine and nine. This is going back because it's mixing us. This woman ain't got no clothes on. All I saw was her scratching her titty. No, why can you see that? They can't see it. It's not like they can see it. Anyway, I'm going to go return this because it's broken. And my dad is going to be in distress if I give him something that's broken. But he's a very dramatic human being. I picked up new satin pillowcases because my old braids dyed the last satin pillowcases I have. And seeing that discolored color pisses me off. 
I know it's the Virgo in me because every time I look at it, my face scrunches up in disgust. So I picked up new ones and I hope this is white because I only do white. I hope the man I end up with does not mind that our bed sheets are always gonna be white because I just love white beddings, okay? I just love white. It's my go-to. I can't see myself ever doing any other color. Okay, I'm trying to open this so I can show y'all the satin pillowcases, but I can't get it open. And I don't want to break the box because if I got to return it, I don't want to return it broken like some people do at Marshall's. It broke. Oh, well. I tried. Oh, it's white. It's not going to be returned. It's white. So these are the pillowcases. Everybody needs a satin pillowcase. If you got natural hair, if you, I don't care what kind of hair you got, you should be using satin pillowcases. Like, they're, oh my God, there's only one that comes in this pack. Yo, you're kidding me. Ugh, I gotta go back for more. Freak, I thought it was two. Okay, I'm gonna go back and get another one. It was just, it was not just, I hate using that word just. It was $5.99, rounded up plus tax, about six twelve. Huh? $6.12. I also get my avocado oil from Marshall's because it's cheaper. This was $13. I got two because I'm out of avocado oil. I also got hairspray because I got to do my wig today before we go out. And then I got this jewelry cleaner because my bracelet from Pandora, I don't want to say it's changing colors. I want to believe that it's just dirty. If I am to put it in this jewelry cleaner and it doesn't get clean, Pandora is going to hear from me. I am going to open Pandora's box. Okay. I got dishwashing gloves because I picked up these cheap gloves from the at home store and look at this look look at this cheap thing it has so many holes in it my fingers still get wet they're trying to mess up my manicure won't happen so i picked up some new ones two in one and this was five dollars trash that goes in the trash i picked up some pink himalayan salt because i'm also out five dollars and then i got that skirt i tried on so actually i have two potential outfits I could wear this skirt and then wear some shorts underneath it so I don't get sweaty. But I just gotta figure out what top. I could wear my halter top. Honestly, I think I have an outfit. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. All we gotta do is work on the hair. It's gonna be a wig day. Am I happy about that? No. Why? Because it is hot as six giraffe balls outside. And I just can't. So, that is all I got. And that was over $200. I did not leave this house today with the intention of spending that much money. But you know what? Everybody calls me the rich auntie and I'm gonna keep that going until they realize the rich auntie uses credit cards. <laughs> is that the dress you're wearing? That's it? That's the dress? Is this a dress? No, is that the dress you're wearing? Was that your moo moo? Oh, I was just asking. Girl, it's about to be one o'clock. The heat exhaustion. She decided to go for a walk today. She ain't checked the weather. <laughs> I did. So this will be the second time I'm installing a wig myself. Honestly, it's not going too bad. I did have to um Put on a second cap, but it's not going. Girl, the ball, dude. <laughs> Gotta apply the foundation. We ain't, we ain't done yet. I'm telling you, men don't have to go through this, and then don't let you go decide to go bald. They're gonna be like, why'd you shave your hair off? First of all, it's none of your business. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna go in with the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. This isn't a number 14. I think this is the darkest that they had, but I'm gonna go in with this color, just to blend in the cap to my natural hairline actually i gotta clean some found some of the glue off my forehead to clean the glue off i'm just using rubbing alcohol not too close to the cap because you don't want to like clean the glue off of there but off of my face in general 
Girl, what are you talking about? Oh, because of the heat, don't worry if you come late. Sir, because of the heat, I was coming late. I didn't need you to tell me. Okay, we're starting to give scout. We're starting it. We're starting it. This is a little too light for me, but it's okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, wow. So while my wig continues to melt because I had to add some extra glue to the edges, I'm going to start my face. It's honestly no rush because <laughs> the time for the party has been pushed back, which is very real in African nature. We never start anything on time, not even funerals. <laughs> okay. If you are thinking of marrying into an African family, forget that time exists. It does not. It's an illusion. It's a, huh, what Ross just said. It's an illusion. Okay? If they tell you a time, you show up one time, you are going to be part of the help. If they invite you to an event and they tell you it starts at 5 o'clock and you show up at 5 o'clock, you are going to help them put up chairs. And you're possibly going to help them create the fruit salad. Because that is just what we do. Don't say nobody warned you. Because you got your heads up. I have this soap in the kitchen for washing hands. It's this manly smell. I think it's like mahogany and teak wood or something. Oh yeah. When I say I wash my hands with it and it smells like I have a man. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, it's so good. I wash my hands with it and I'm just like, who have I been hugging? Nobody. No, nobody. Cause who, 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 who? Why are you so close to the camera? I'm talking to Roz, y'all. See her entire face. What the... I think I'm gonna change my lens right, for this. Oh, thank God, the eagle. Nathan almost woke up, and Ross was talking about the eagle is awake. I was like, "What the hell are you talking about? She talking about Nathan? Calling him a damn eagle?" Oh, thank you, Jesus. Girl. The one thing about this summer heat, that... this summer heat has been kicking Nathan's ass. Okay, kicking the baby's booty. <laughs> He can't do it. Oh my god. I literally was like, okay, come on, my dear. We have, you have to do this. I was literally talking to myself. I'm like, wow. That's beautiful. All right, let's see if this hair has no kit. <clears throat> okay, I'm placing it with hair. No. Okay, I'm placing it Sixteen inches. Damn, the shrink it. I know. Lay it down. Ooh, the things you do. This is a one year old birthday party. This is a one year old birthday party. But the thing about Africans is there's no such thing as a one year old's birthday party. It's technically the parents birthday party. So if you're going, you should just show up, show up proper. Because if you show up any other way, you embarrass yourself. That was the Morphe continuous setting spray. I like to set my face before I start. And what we're gonna do is we're going to start off with some concealer. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do some underpainting today. Painting. I'm going to start off with my Black Radiance Foundation Stick. I think it's the, the lighting in your bathroom makes it a little yellow, Ross. Next time, start doing your makeup in like the living room. Just take a mirror out there. I'm 
I'm not gonna contour my hairline because I'm wearing a wig, so there's no need for that. Um, they're doing construction upstairs and it's pissing me off. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty concealer in 485C. This concealer is about one shade lighter than my skin color, but I like to use it for underpainting because it covers up any hyperpigmentation and all that good stuff. Oops. One thing about wigs is you're gonna get the hair in your face when you're doing your makeup. I hate it. All right, I'm going to blend out my contour using this Sonia Kashuk domed over brush. I just got this brush from Target. It is freaking amazing. Like, look at the angle. For your jawline, you're gonna bring it down. You wanna create this shadow, give an illusion of a chiseled jaw. So that's why we contour our jaw. Bring it down. You wanna really bring that shadow down here. Drag it down. For your cheek, you're gonna pull up. Because for your cheek, we're trying to give the definition of a lifted face. So even though it's a line, you're pulling that line up. And for your cheekbone, you don't put it under your cheekbones. You put it right above where that hollow is. So for me, my hollow is where this is. So I put it a little bit further up. I'm also contouring the top of my lips because that's what I want to lift up. I want my lips up here fuller. It looks like a mustache right now, but it's good. Then we're going to do our nose. You're going to pull it into your brows to make it look like it's growing Straight from the brows. My man Roz is over here watching me like I'm giving her a YouTube tutorial. <laughs> Y'all should see her face every time I say something. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna blend out the contour. I like to use a sponge for this part. My other contour, I like to use a brush. But when I'm underpainting, I like to use a sponge. You see how that already looks? It looks like I already have foundation on. I didn't put anything on. So now I'm gonna go in with my House of Labs foundation. I'm only gonna use one drop. That's it. I'm gonna use a flat top brush. So actually, you know what? I'm gonna use this full coverage face brush from Bobbi Brown because I really wanna like stipple it into my skin. This foundation is heaven sent like chef's kiss the full is such full coverage you don't need a lot a little goes a long way what is it the house of labs foundation lady gaga um, well, i need a little bit i need a little bit more i think they're doing construction and i'm going to cuss the the leasing office out because this is the second time that they've done construction and nobody has told me that I should be expecting noise. But you guys know how to call me and harass me about my lease being up and I need to renew, right? All right, bet. To highlight my under eyes, I'm going in with Elf Camel Concealer in Deep Cinnamon. And I'm going to put some in my nose for my contour there. A little bit here. A little bit on my lips actually for my lips I'm gonna go in with my Fenty because it's not as light so for my lips I'm gonna go in with Fenty so right here I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit before I blend it out just so I can get tacky the tackier your concealer is the better Ooh, I need to make my concoction for this hair baby It looks nice. It does. Frizzy right now. Yeah. Yep. I said being a woman is difficult, but I enjoy getting ready. I can lie. Like, this stuff, this stuff actually been... It's like therapy. It's, ther it's very therapeutic. Yes. I literally, I literally said that, like... That's a therapeutic. Yeah. Like, what? Especially when you haven't gone out in a long time and you finally get the opportunity to go out. Girl, you be inside like, oh, this beat about the eat. This beat is about to eat. Then the heat is gonna say, let me eat too. Mwah. You know how Burner Boy said so all the girls give me the mwah? The heat is going to be kissing off today. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. I'm taking my umbrella and I'm taking my fan. I should be charging my fan. Okay. Now that the I'm face. Phone. No, but I charged my phone. The car is okay. Now that the face has set, we're going to go in with our Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. <gasps> I'm going to use this Angie Hot and Flashy A506 brush. It's linked to my Amazon storefront if you're interested. Angie Kinney, what is it? Hot Angie Hot and Flashy. I did a good job. This is not bad. Alright, we're gonna go with some blush. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty blush and Joy. A little bit on the nose. I'm gonna let the blush sit and get a little bit tacky. Yeah, I know. Diet juice. This look, I am in my classy grown woman era. Cheers. The face is coming along. And the reason I'm wetting my hair now is so that it does not mess up my makeup. Okay, let's blend out this blush before it gets crunchy. Okay, we are going to spray the face again to help blend it out. I'm going to add a little bit more blush because it's not as bright as I like. <clears throat> I could actually mix it with my orange to make it pop a little bit more. And I think I'm going to do that. This is the Elf Gorge Orange, I believe. Yep. Beautiful. Hit the nose. Okay, now we're going to go in and set the under eyes. I think I'm going to do a little bit more contour because it's not as harsh as I would like. I'm going to add blush on top of me, bronze or on top of it. Bless you. Thank you. Can we put it on the, um, over there, please? Now remember when you are dragging this makeup down your neck? When you hug people, lift your head up. If you don't lift your head up, you're gonna baptize them with your makeup. And I added a little more concealer just to brighten up my under eye and to clean up some of this blush. Perfect. I'm going to go in with my beauty blender just to make sure everything is seamless. You are going to make the ugliest face and it does not matter. This hair is dripping down my back. Jesus. Okay, that is the face. We are going to start the setting process. To set my face, I'm going to go in with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is to set my under eye. I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush. It's the brightening concealer brush. I'm going to press it into my under eye. Oh, cold. You're cold? Yeah. Okay, we're going to put on a little clothes right now, okay? Okay. I'm so happy that I washed all my 
puffs yesterday because it just using a clean one just feels great you know you just feel real it, feels, it, feels it oh my gosh clean. yeah like, like what face about to sit and eat in every area that i concealed i am or highlighted I'm putting the pressed powder there. I'm going to set my contour with my contour palette and my bronzer. I like to mix my contour palette with my bronzer because my contour palette is a little bit too dark and my bronzer is a little bit too red. By mixing the two of them, I get the perfect color. This is the contour palette I look, I use. And you see how this is too dark? So that's why I mix it with my bronzer to make the perfect color for me. So what I do is I dip it in the palette first. So here. Then I go into my bronzer, tap the excess off, and then I start. And you see how it just looks, it doesn't look like anything. That's what I want. I want it to be warm, but it still gives me that. You see how my face is lifted on this side and it's warm. Don't touch, please. I need it to dry. Hi, Nate. Hi. How was your nap? It was good. Did you dream about anything? Yeah. Okay, I'm not even going to ask you what you dreamt about because you ain't going to tell me. To melt everything together, we're going to use our Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. But I'm not done setting my face yet. I got to set under my bronzer to make my face pop. Woo! Let's check out the hair. She's born with it. Maybe she's born with it. <laughs> Maybe it's a wig. This is the Curls Blueberry Bliss Leave in Conditioner. I am going to set my face my blush with the NARS exhibit a blush I'm gonna use two blushes actually starting with the NARS one first And I'm going with my Jason Wu palette. I'm going to use this color. It's like a peach color. But when I top it on top of the orange, it makes it just pretty. And then I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer under my eye to bring it back together and give it some dimension. I learned this from Uche. Where 
Oh, okay. Nathan, so you ain't about to blame me. <laughs> Use your eyes, girl. So when you want to define your curls, you're going to put water, leave-in conditioner, mousse, and then run a Denman brush through it. If I had a diffuser, it would help, but I don't have a diffuser. But you see how the curls are looking tight on this side? That's how you do it, folks. I don't even have this kind of hair. But I knew it. You want to start at the bottom and brush up so you don't rip the hair and get a good detangle and a good curl. But look at that. Look at this curl. Look how full. Oh, it's going to be so full. I wish I had a diffuser. This one is bomb. I need this wig for this. That guy said that thing. She's so funny. I got the link for it. It's giving. My mama Puerto Rican. And my father is Dominican. So you see how it's looking? And then the roots remain full because I want the roots to stay full, but then the ends are curly. So if you guys do get the wig, I will add it to my... Um, description box if you want the wig but it's really a good wig i'll probably order it again and get a longer length um because it's really good yeah yes not yeah don't say yeah to mommy you hear that no. yes. yes yes mommy don't say yeah to your mom okay. my mom does not play that yeah even saying guys it can be some time i was i i tried i tried for that thing like so Ross, look at the difference. Huh? Look at the difference. Girl. This is my tool. I'm wearing this balloon skirt that we got from Target yesterday. I'm not going to tie it. I'm just going to pull it all the way up and put it under the shirt so it holds it. This is it. It looks like a dress and I love it. Okay. I absolutely love the fact that it looks like a dress. You're not really going to see it once I let my hair down, but it's okay. It's there. We don't care. I think I'm going to wear this heart necklace. It's low-key like a choker. She's drinking coffee at 5 o'clock. Child, Ron's about to be on. Okay, I don't know. This looks weird. Okay, I am not done getting ready. I was doing my toes. I have these little um, press-ons that I normally do. They're white, but I have to leave because I wanna go pick up a birthday cake from Whole Foods for Nathan because his mom did not get him a cake. They went out of town and she forgot. So I wanna get him a cake. I have some candles in the house, but I want him to just get his little cake before we go to the baby's party. So I'm going to quickly run out and then come back and finish my toes. I think I can actually buy white nail polish and just finish the remaining because I have very tiny toes. 
<laughs> so getting some of the, the press-ons is hard because my toenails are really small. It's like baby toenails. It's pretty sad. But this is what the outfit is looking like. I really like it because it looks like a dress. I don't like how like it makes me like look a little bit too big when it spreads out right there. But it's okay. Sorry, I was trying to adjust the lighting. I don't really like how it like flares out and makes me look really, really big. But I still like the outfit overall. I think if I pull it down a little bit, it won't look as big. But it's still a very cute outfit. Like I used what I had and then I bought... What is going on? I used what I had in the house and then I bought this skirt. So it's like... It's perfect. Anyway, I'm going to run to the store, come back, and then we're going to finish getting ready. So this is his cake. Nate, the cake, I got blue. What's your favorite color? And it matches your shirt. Oh, baby. You like your cake? Okay, let me get you a stand so you can blow your candles. Look. What do you say? You want us to sing happy birthday? Here you go. Okay, look at your cake. Smile. Happy yeah. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nathaniel. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Yippee! Blow your candle out, Nate. Yeah. Oh, good job. All right, let me get you a knife. Let me get you a knife. Oh, you talented baby. Thank you. Say it louder. We can't hear. Thank you. You're there welcome. you go. Okay. All right, you gotta hold it. And then you gotta pull it down. Hold on one second. All right, and then hold it. Go ahead, hold it. And pull it down. Nathan is left handed, you guys. Put it down. There you go. There you go. Oh. We all get the same birthday cake. Oh, good. All right. Good job. You want cake, Nate? Let me go get you a plate. No, no, please. Let me go get you a plate. All right, this is what I'm wearing, and this is what... Excuse the bathroom, y'all. Roz is wearing all black. I did the black and white. Of course it's raining. Of course it's raining. And we got to share one little umbrella. <laughs> it's actually not that little. It's the, 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 the. Luckily, I have wet and wavy. Yeah, I do too, but I don't want it wet and wavy. <laughs> we have to walk up that hill. I see all these damn cars. My cousin knows too many damn people. Too many damn people. Sunday you guys my voice it's a little messed up because I was yelling at the baby's birthday yesterday we had a grand old time okay it is 10 39 Roz and I got back to my apartment around 12 30 yesterday we took some pictures because we didn't get any good pictures at the party so we took some pictures in the hallway using my tripod stuff I normally do by myself I get in the elevator to go, like, say goodbye, like, leave them off to, like, make sure they get downstairs okay. 
the elevator closes, I realized I left my house keys with my key fob upstairs. So I can't get back on the elevator. So Roz is like, oh my God, okay, let's all just go sit in my car. And I'm like, no, you have to go home. Like Nathan is tired, you have to go home. So I like tell her, go ahead. If anything, I'll just sit in my car and wait for somebody to come out the elevator and have them let me in because I left my apartment open also. So Roz goes to her car. She's looking for people. She randomly sees one guy who lives in the building. She's like, my best friend locked herself out. Can you go upstairs and let her into the... Like I was saying before my battery rudely died, um, she found this one guy downstairs who lives in the building. I think he was going to his car. And she asked him, she's like, can you please go let her into her building? I think you all use the same key fob. Um, she left hers in the apartment. She just needs to get in the elevator. So he came up the stairs, helped me get in the elevator. I was like, oh my God, because one, I had to pee so bad. But I didn't want to worry Roz because I knew she had Nate with him. And I just wanted her to get him home and also get herself home because she had to go get him ready for bed, get herself ready for bed. It's a lot for a parent. So I didn't want to worry her. So I was like, I'll just sit in my car. I did sit in my car for like a few minutes. And then that's when she called me. She was like, I found somebody. And I was just like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Because I really didn't want to sleep in my car. I would, but I didn't want to. Um, but my best friend is the best. So she found somebody and he came and let me up. I hopped in the shower so quick because I was so sticky. The birthday party was fun, but y'all, I would be lying if I said the mosquitoes did not eat me up and the mud did not like make me nauseous. But my cousin and his wife did a phenomenal job for baby, for baby girl. Um, despite the rain, there were two rainbows, as you all saw, two rainbows, God's favor. Okay. He knew baby Afani was going to have a great birthday. Um... And yeah, it was it was just a good time. Like the entire family was there. One thing we gonna do is show up for each other, okay? We can be mad at each other, arguing, not talking, but let there be an event that requires us to be there. We will be there, okay? We will be there. My mama was there, my sister, the doctor was there. My sister is in San Francisco. She's in Oakland. And she flew down just for baby girl's birthday party. But she got a full special. My sister loves the kids in our family. She loves the kids in our family. We all do, but she loves kids. She's a pediatrician. She came down. She saw the birthday girl. She saw Nathaniel, Rosalind's son. She saw my cousin's other daughter, who was also born at the same around the same time as the baby, the birthday girl, Serena. She saw my other cousin who just gave birth. <laughs> she saw her new baby. Ba basically, she saw all the babies. She saw my cousin's son, Gabe. We found out my cousin's wife is expecting. It's just, it was, it was, it was, it was a good time. It was a good time. It was a good time. Okay. And yeah, I didn't record the whole thing because I just couldn't. I was up dancing. Me and Nate was having a good time. You know, whenever the music came on, I got up, sh shook a little tail feather, you know. Yeah, it, it was a good time. And today I got to clean up because all the prepping that I did yesterday, my house looks a mess. A mess. Okay, and when I say my house looks a mess, that's me trying to do my toes yesterday and they still look a mess. I just got to make up my bed because I wash my sheets during the week. Um, the couch is always like that. I just got to fluff it. Got to put this old wig. I think I'm going to wash this wig and use it next week just because it's like a throw on wig. You don't have to like worry about gluing it down. So I think that's it. I got to finish the laundry that I started. Clear off this island. Um, that's okay. I got to put these shoes away. There's some more in there. So, yeah, today is going to be somewhat of a cleanup day. Nothing too crazy. The house is not horrible. I do want to mop the floors, but that's about it. Other than that, I'm good. I already missed the first service for church because it starts at 10 o'clock. It's 1044. The second one is going to start at 11. So, while I'm waiting for the second one to come on, I'm going to go brush my teeth because I definitely did not brush my teeth. I'm going to brush my teeth and then possibly make some coffee. I'm trying to decide if I want hot coffee or cold coffee but i'm thinking hot i'm thinking hot so i'm gonna put my kettle out and put some water and let it boil and then um use my french press
I have to work. I have to make something to eat. As always, I don't want to eat. I mean, I don't want to drink coffee on um, an empty stomach. So I'm probably going to have a bagel. This is my last bagel. These are my favorite low carb bagels. They're not super low carb, but they work for me. Um, they're high in fiber, which is great for my digestive health. I think I'm gonna have that with avocado. Avocado toast. I need to go to my mom's house and get some more avocados because as I mentioned in my last vlog, my mom picks the best avocados. Me, I suck. Okay? Cause I'd be out here picking avocados come back and they're either too soft, spoiled, or they're too hard and then you let them get soft they're spoiled by the time but my mom has like this just she's just i don't know she's amazing she she gets it i don't she gets it i don't where's the top of my french press an update on the guy that i asked out so i reminded him during the week pick a day for us to go out this weekend um because i was just like your schedule and my schedule they don't like go well together we can go out friday we can go out saturday i was going to leave the birthday party early for the date but he never got back to me we're still chatting like nothing like nothing happened but he never got back to me with a day and time that he was available and i just get tired of like repeatedly repeat like repeating myself you're an adult i'm an adult i gave you a heads up it's been a week i reminded you like during the week I reminded you the day of the event that we were supposed to be going out to have drinks for because he ended an internship. He's in school for he's in law school. So he ended an internship that he's doing and he was really happy because it was just like terrible. I was like, all right, let me treat you to a drink for the last day of your internship. And he was like, all right, bet. The last day of the internship, I was like, all right, now you have to pick a day for us to go out this weekend. And he's like, all right, I got you. He hasn't brought it up. I'm going to bring it up one more time. Not today. I'm going to bring it up tomorrow. And all I'm going to say is I did ask you out. And you never got back to me with a day. If you want to go out, it's going to be on you this time. Not on me. Because I already did my part. Um, there's no animosity. We're still like talking and texting and whatnot. And it's been great. Like communication has been great. He's really fun. It's just he never got back to me. So it's really there's really no animosity. It's just I'm not going to remind you again. Especially that we're both adults. Like, we're not in our 20s. <laughs> we're adults. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So, that's the update. Because someone did ask for an update. <laughs> I wish I was getting cute to go on a date today. But I'm not. I will keep updating you guys. There is another guy that I'm talking to. Um, he's out of town. I was not available this weekend. Because I thought I had a date this weekend. <laughs> And I asked him if he wanted to like get a drink or food next weekend. He's like, no, I'm out of town that weekend. But we can like plan something for the following, the weekend after this one coming up. So I was like, all right, cool. This is the thing about me. I'm single and I'm dating. I'm talking to different guys. I'm not doing anything. I am looking for a potential match. Um, so I'm not limiting myself to just one guy. I am allowing myself to meet different people, test the waters, and see who I like and see who I can build something with, you know? I feel like I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket because I've done that before and it bit me in the butt. So, I am taking numbers, dating, and see where it go seeing where it goes. And so far, it's been fun, you know? The two men that I'm talking to, they're very, like, smart. One is into fitness just like me. The other, he's more so, like, an outdoorsy, always, like, out and partying and having fun with his friends. Which I do appreciate because I feel like it also pushed me to spend more time outside the house. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty cool getting to know both of them. So I will keep you guys, I will keep you guys updated as the story develops. But right now, there is no date today because I think he forgot. I could bring it up today because today's Sunday, I can still bring it up and just be like, you know, I did ask you out this weekend and you never got back to me. It's probably going to be some like lame excuse. I really don't care. Like I said, it's up to him. If he asks me out, cool. If he doesn't, I'm probably going to end it there because it's just like I'm not into the whole talking forever. Like, 
what, what do you want to talk about? We can talk about all of this in person. Like, I'm so confused. And I'm not even asking you to pay. That's the issue. Because I got my own money. I'm just saying. But anyway, that is your update. And as I mentioned, I will continue to update you guys as the story develops. <laughs> um, There's not much story there. But yeah. I like the idea of dating multiple people and getting to know different people so that one, you meet the right person or you don't and you have a backup. I don't know. Nobody wants to put all their eggs in one basket and then end up hurt or end up alone. I'm trying to have me somebody who I can match pajamas with this winter, okay? I want to match pajamas. I want the matching pajamas. I want the Christmas pictures. I want the winter wonderland dates. I want all of it. <laughs> we went to the family event yesterday and all my cousins are married. It was like step by step, everyone got married. I am the next one that they're waiting for. Everyone is waiting for me and I'm just like, you guys, I'm trying. <laughs> I am trying, okay? I don't know what to tell y'all. Find me a husband. Damn. And now that Rosalind is really part of the family, oh, they could wait on her because when she's getting married, the whole family's showing up. So Rosalind is technically next because she's older than me by one year. It ain't me. It's Ros. So next time they bother me, like, when are you getting married? When is Ros getting married? Because Ros is the next older person, not me. Avocado toast on low-carb bagels. And then I have my Lavazza Perfecto coffee. It's dark roast. Absolutely love it. I put a little bit too much cream, so I'm going to drink a little bit and add some more coffee. But this is breakfast. I'm going to have a protein shake just to add some protein because I don't have any protein here. So it's another rainy day, which means I am probably not going anywhere today. I'm going to stay in the house and just clean, but it is raining so heavy right now. Like, so heavy. I guess that's August for you. This weather is so bipolar. You would look outside and be like, what rain? What rain? It was just pouring. But now it's like, what rain, sis? What are you talking about? Huh? Okay, the rain. <laughs> I feel like I just come and share with you all when the weather is changing. The rain is back. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna order some food. I want some ramen. And there's a ramen restaurant not too far from here, about 15 minutes. So I think I'm just gonna use DoorDash and DoorDash some ramen, finish cleaning, and then sit down and binge watch House of Dragons because I have not watched more than one episode. So I feel like today's the perfect day to just enjoy House of Dragons in the house by myself. Yeah, the rain is really coming down. I feel like summer is like low key coming to an end because this is giving real fall weather and I'm here for it. I'm about to finish cleaning, light my candles and wait for my ramen to get delivered. And I'm gonna just sit down, eat and enjoy House of Dragons. Cause I only watched one episode and I knew I wanted to binge watch it. It's over so I get to enjoy it with no spoilers cause I'm not on t Twitter right now. I'm also not really on Instagram, my main Instagram. So I'm really about to enjoy it. Oh, look at this. Look, look, what? I low key love it though. Like, I low key love this. And <sighs> Alexa, pause. The house is clean. I need to figure out what to eat. The rain is gone, but I'm still not leaving my house because it's supposed to come back and I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I can't decide between Indian food and ramen. I really don't want ramen because I feel like it's not going to be like filling, like have enough protein. Because they give you like three pieces of chicken or pork. And I'm just like, I don't want that. So I'm gravitating more towards Indian food. And I'm probably going to get some fish stew. That sounds really, really good. 
and um, some steamed dumplings. I really, really love fish, so I'm thinking <clears throat> I'm gonna get the fish stew. I think that's what it is. <sighs> I've never had this Indian restaurant before, but it looks good on Grubhub. And they had me a stew. I love stew. This vlog is gonna be so short because I'm really doing nothing today. Saturday was the highlight of the day. Friday and Saturday. Today is, and that's okay. Less editing for me. I put on my hat to go downstairs because I didn't want to scare my neighbors with, yeah. But my food is here. I finally decided what I wanted to eat. Carlos was like, make up your mind, Phoebe. Mind you, he never calls me Phoebe. Don't be weird. He said my name like he named me, okay? I got some, some samosas. I got garlic naan. Now that Carlos is done vacuuming, I will finish telling you guys what I got. <laughs> because I just came out of nowhere. I also got curry goat and chicken masala. That's all that I got. And then they sent me some sauce because I was like, I want my food spicy. So they sent me some sauce. Um, but I think I'm going to eat the goat and keep the chicken masala for tomorrow. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I go back to my dieting tomorrow. I've been big, I've been doing, I've been like, I've been having my way <laughs> for a week. Back to the schedule programming tomorrow. I'm doing it without my coach because I don't want the pressure of like weighing in and checking in with nobody. When I decide to go back to her, I'm going to go back to her. But for now, I'm just going back to working out because I actually do miss the gym. I didn't work out all last week and I was like, oh my God. Wow, this is boring. So I'm going back to the gym. But yeah, it came with this rice. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. This is too much. If I eat this whole thing, it'll be like, what, girl? So I'm about to put some down. Put on an episode of House of Dragons. And stop binge watching it. Let me plate this food and show y'all what it look like, though. And, and this is dinner. I'm going to do a side salad because I have salad mix in the refrigerator. But this is it. The curry goat basmati rice and a little bit of the garlic naan. I put this green sauce over it because it's spicy. But yeah, that's my dinner. War is coming. We cannot wage it without the support of the North. My lord. The ravens arrived. Urgent news from Dragonstone. My liege. The fact that they stitched the baby's neck, I mean head to back to the neck, is wild. And I swear when they killed the baby, I thought they killed the sister. I did not know they killed the son. Like, what? <laughs> 